In the previous two episodes, we have tried some traditional local snacks. It would be nice to have a drink now. What is this? Almond juice? This road leads us to the manufacturer of almond juice. We are visiting the workshop of a snack shop with nearly a century of history. This drink looks like medicinal oil. Its yellowish appearance bears little semblance to the white apricot kernel drink we usually have. I wonder what it tastes like. When I first heard of almond juice, I thought of snowy white almond paste or apricot kernel drink. But the almond juice here is yellow in color. Mix one part almond juice with ten parts of water and you get this drink. Let me taste it. It is rich in almond flavor. The texture is similar to honey. It is smooth and nourishing. I think we can use it to make different kinds of special summer drinks. Besides the nice taste, it is said to be able to ease coughing and sore throat and is good for the skin. In the old days, a lot of drinks were said to offer health benefits. Let's hear it from the local food cultural specialist, Dr. Su Yan Ho. In the 1950s and 60s, there were a lot of health drinks. Almond juice aside, other popular drinks included beef tea, phoenix milk paste and something called monk jumping into sea. As the name suggests, beef tea is a juice extracted by braising beef. It was introduced to Hong Kong from the west. Monk jumping into sea is prepared by putting a raw egg into a glass of piping hot water. The yolk looks like a monk's hairless head. And the egg white drifting in water is the cassock. In the post-World War II days, many could not afford proper meals and suffered from malnutrition. Those who had extra money for a drink often wanted something nutritious. So there were the Chinese-styled almond juice and the Western drinks that boasted of containing vitamins that could improve sleep. All these were to add some value to the drinks. This drink is said to be nourishing to the skin and the throat. It is handmade in a local snack shop, involving a complicated procedure that takes two days to complete. Let's talk to Chef Chan, who has worked here for the past 60 years, and see how this almond juice is made. What is the very first step of making almond juice? The first step is to peel the almond. There are peeled almonds on the market, but we are not sure of the quality. That's why we peel the almonds ourselves. We use both the sweet and bitter apricot kernels. They are also commonly known as the southern and northern apricot kernels. Peel them in a machine, pick out the rotten ones and the shells. And then bake them dry. After using machines and very hot water to separate the peel from the almonds, you still have to remove it manually to get the perfectly peeled almonds. This job seems easy but is in fact very difficult. Look how much time it takes for me to peel one almond and look she is doing it with both hands with her fingers pushing and peeling at the same time. Oh, I've wasted an almond. It just went that way. The peeled almonds are then roasted in the oven until golden. This step gives the almond juice its clear and golden appearance. Then roast on low heat for at least four hours. The next morning, the almonds are ready to be refined with fritillary bulb and licorice root. Now we filter the almond juice to remove the pulp. Put all the juice into this bucket and simmer it with sugar. How long does this step take? Three hours. This serves to extract all the flavor of the almonds. Now with sugar added, how long does it take to be ready? More than an hour. The final product, it's golden in color. The almond juice stays good for a long time because we bottle it at boiling point. The bottles are sterilized under high temperature. Then we pour the almond juice into them and suck out the air. This is a means for preservation. That's why the juice must be bottled at boiling point. Nowadays, handmade foods are all the rage, but hiring manpower is a problem. Even if you use machines, some steps still have to be handled manually in a hot surrounding. That's why we have problem hiring people. The almond juice gives me a warm feeling. Having gone through nine decades of ups and downs, it is one of the most familiar tastes for Hong Kongers.